Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, I've listened to a lot of the feedback over my last video on how to set up a Speedlight softbox and the flash bracket options and stuff. So I wanted to make a new video and kind of go over stuff a little more in detail and cover some things I might've missed in the last one. So if you've been wanting an updated video, well, I'm finally got around to doing it. So anyway, this is gonna be a wonderful video. I'm gonna explain the difference between the Speedlight softboxes, the brackets, and even some lighting options, stuff that I didn't cover in the last video. But before we get into this video, do check out this awesome product from A Shampoo. A Shampoo Backup Pro 14 backs up your data and operating system automatically to all common storage types and cloud services. Always up to date backups take the fear out of hardware failure, OS issues, or malware infections. Don't miss my demo and review of Backup Pro 14. Plus, learn more and download your free trial by clicking the links in the description below. Okay, welcome back everyone. Well, there's about three different type of main speed lock brackets you're gonna find, especially like on Amazon. We have our basic design here, simple one speed light, holds umbrella, fits onto the you know stand and stuff, quite easy. And we just put this one on here, there. The second one you're probably gonna find is a multiple speed lock bracket. Now this one has a spot for three different speed lights to go on it and it does mount the same way. Now you will notice this one has two holes in it. I will get into that in a little bit to which one you actually want to put your umbrella or your speed light softbox, umbrella softbox into. And the third most popular one is going to find like this one. It holds one single speed light or multiple speed lights using a special bracket. And these essentially work the same way, except these have, for example, have like Bowen's mount. So you can use like a Bowen softbox onto the front of this one. This one's actually very handy. I do like these a lot and they're uh, actually pretty sturdy. And I'll show how to set one of these up also. So anyway, let's go over here and actually first start setting up the original bracket here. Okay, everyone, like I mentioned, these brackets have a little mount bottom, little screw, and they basically go on the end of your uh, lighting stand. Now I'm using like a nine foot lighting stand here. I like these because they're very cheap, affordable. You can fold them out of the way and well, it's quite sturdy for the price. So anyway, it's what I'm using. You simply put it on and you do want to tighten it. You don't want this loose, though you can loosen it if you want to move it, but when you're not uh, got anything on it or you know, you actually got anything on it, make sure it's always tight. All right, there's another bracket uh, screw here. Let you adjust these different angles. Move my hand out of the way so you can actually see. And you just want to adjust it where you need it when you get into uh, lighting stuff, when you adjust your lighting. And on the top, we have our little cold shoe for speed light. Okay. Let me grab a softbox and I'll show you how to set up, for example, the newer uh, umbrella softbox on this one right quick. Okay, we have our softbox here. Now, you will find most of these right here, a little zipper at the bottom. And lighting, you know, umbrella opens up basically like that. Really nice. I use these a lot. I love these soft boxes. Just drop the little zipper hole over the pole here and your bracket. And you want to slide it in. Now, let me get these turned around angled. All right, there we go. That way you can see it. How you are to adjust this, it really depends. Now, if you're just going to have it level like this, obviously you want to push it back as far as you can. About right there. That way when you put the speed light in, it gives it uh, plenty of room to spread out the light. And that's really important to get even lighting within these. So for example, that if you want to, you can zip up the bottom a little bit, prevent light leakage and stuff. If that's a concern for you, it's going down to the ground. So it surely shouldn't be, but it's nice. All right. Put that in like that, and let's grab our speed light and then put that in. Okay, now I have like a young dual flash here. Something to consider when you put a flash, for example, in one of these. Let me just tighten down the little cold shoe here with the screw you see there. When you put these in, make sure the one speed lights you're using are radio transmitter. These particular models here always use a radio transmitter. They're manual flashes. I did reviews on these years ago. I still use them. I got like eight of these, uh, you know, if 
560 Mark IVs, I still use constantly. Now, you, uh, you want to watch uh, these right here. These are a radio transmitter. The normal, a lot of the ones you get from like Canon or whatnot might be optical. So if they're inside of a uh, uh, softbox, obviously the optical is not going to work too well. So you want to make sure you're using radio transmitter ones. Okay. Now, if you got a little, little diffuser, you might want to pop it out. Optional, depends. I use it that way to spread the light out evenly as much as possible. And that's essentially it for the speed light. Just put it in, tighten it up. Then we can grab our uh, diffuser and put on front. Okay, now I have the diffuser. Simple, put it on. Annoying Velcro when you're trying to make a video. <laughs> it's quite easy, just kind of put it on. Okay, now, that's it for that one. Okay, now let's talk about the other bracket options to use with this one. Okay, now we have our three speed light bracket on here. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, we have two holes. Now the hole we want to use is actually the one in the middle of the tri bracket here. You don't want to use a lot of the holes if there are any left in like the original brackets. Often they reuse the base of the bracket with these uh, just to save money on cost and stuff because there's no sense to actually manufacturing one with holes and one without holes. It's just quicker just to manufacture them all the same. And then they just attach the actual tri bracket here to the top. Okay, let's grab our umbrella softbox and I'll put it on here. Okay, so got the umbrella softbox here. Like I said, we want to put it in the hole here, uh, right, right here. Now, often these don't have any kind of like screw to tension it down. Uh, they're just basically held in with like pressure tension on the little end here. It's got this little thing, puts tension on it to push it out to the side. And the same as the other, we want to kind of push it back as far as we can and put it on there. All right. Now, the speed lights placement is something you do want to watch here. Okay. Now, I actually like these a lot because they have three different brackets, let so you put two on each side. I often don't run three speed lights with these, but you can. So anyway, let's put the speed lights on. Okay, so we got the first one here and put it on the side, Just tighten it down. If you got any got diffuser, I recommend it. And angle it in. Okay. Let's grab our second speed light. Put it on. Tighten it down, angle it in. Now if you have a third speed light, of course, it goes here on the top. Like I said, often I don't use three speed lights with it. Uh, I have a few times, but mainly don't. Normally two is more than enough, but I really like it because these shoot the light in, you get a very even illumination coming out. And of course, just like a while ago, put your little diffuser on front, you're good to go. Okay, now we have our Bowen uh, style mount here. Uh, this thing is still technically called like an S bracket. I can't remember for sure. And you do have a hole here in the center for umbrella soft boxes. Yeah, it goes through here. You have a screw on it to tighten it. And of course, it goes in like this. Now, just like the other ones, you do want the flash to fire into these particular style soft boxes. So I will pull the screw out. Then let's grab our umbrella, a soft box, and put on here. Okay, let's take the soft box. Just lock it all ago, pull it around the side. Put this little hole here. And put it in there. And we kind of place it in. All right. Tighten it down about where you want it. And you do want to watch because the speed light, you may want to fold it up. And so let me grab a speed light and I'll show you how to put it in. Okay, now that I have the speed light, like I said, I am using the diffuser on front. Optional, it's up to you. And you want to angle your speed light like this, kind of turn it and kind of just set it in there. And there's a screw here on top. Let me angle this down so you can see. The screw here. And you want to just run it in until it stops. Don't over tighten it. Things actually move in the front of that speed light. If you don't, if you tighten it down too much, you can crush it and damage your speed light. It's just enough to hold it. You know, it's 
it's not going anywhere and you angle it up so there you go then of course put the scrim on the uh diffuser good to go okay everyone so now i have umbrellas now i have a uh, shoot through transparent white one and i have a black one with a silver inside a little reflector one and there's two different ways to uh to use these but one, one real way to use these so let's get in here and i'll show you how to do just that well i have the white one here now traditionally you're to shoot through these and not actually shoot into them and you can kind of use these as a bounce but you really really should not because most of your light's going to escape going through it now so if you see anybody with one of these put up like on here and speed light shooting into it walk away <laughs> these really should not be used that way what you want to use with these is to put in this way and put your speed light in then you want to face it towards your client like this and what this does is when the speed light shoots into it it acts like a big soft box it will soften up a lot more of the light give you softer light now a lot of these soft boxes do come with back covers to hang around there and really do help keep that light spilling back out because a lot of light will bounce back out of the material and you'll lose a lot of your uh energy from your speed light so you might lose like a stop or two of uh light and stuff coming out of it but you should not be using it as a bounce like this uh though you can if you need to if you really need a soft light speed light's almost a little too powerful hey it's light shape it ha uh, however you need to but technically uh for the most part you should be using them this way and this is what i actually use for example for my lighting for my a uh, uh, my video editing and stuff is I actually have lights on the other side of these and light coming out and that way it's really really soft although a lot of light like i said does spill out the back okay everyone now i have the black one here which is like i said a silver reflective one and these well you obviously cannot shoot through them so you need to shoot into them and like all the others you want to space it out as far as you possibly can that way when your uh, speed light you know, flashes, it has room to spread out and come back out. Now, they sell these umbrellas in many different flavors. They have a gold one, so they have a uh, white one also. So these are like opaque, so when you shoot light into this, no light will spill out the back. So you obviously will not be using it this way, just so we're perfectly honestly clear. But yeah, that's how you use these uh, umbrellas, just, you know shine them up i am actually have one right here with a light in it using to help light this video matter of fact so normally you see like these and speed light going into them so so that's how to use the speed lights with these now let's talk about some regular lighting and stuff you're going to use continuous lighting like leds or if you're still using fluorescent tubes which is basically on the way out and i'll show you how to set all these up with you know some continuous lighting okay everybody so we have some continuous lighting brackets here. Now these are the two most common ones you're gonna find on Amazon because they're really cheap and they actually work really good. Now we have a dual one here and we have a single one. So let me first show you how to set up the single one right quick. Okay, so we have the single bracket. You will notice a screw on this side, just like speed light brackets, it's pretty simple. Got a hole in the bottom, you put it in, you tighten it down and you get it tightened down you can adjust the angle as you need it and let's grab our umbrella right quick okay so i have the black umbrella obviously you want to slide it on like this then want to install your light bulb okay so here's the light bulbs i normally use for most of my video lighting for example like this right here uh have one of the uh these actually being used right there to shine light over here all right so you just simply just screw it in like this and you plug it up you're good to go you just simply want to angle it 
so that you know, wherever this is, you get nice, even light spread onto your subject. For example, like me at the moment. Although I'm probably not the best subject to be spraying, uh, spraying any light onto. <laughs> Find somebody much better looking. All right. So let me grab the other umbrella right quick. Okay. So now I have the white umbrella on here. And as you can see, you can kind of use it as a bounce. And this will work. Uh, this will help bounce light back. Although, just remember, like I mentioned a while ago, you will lose a lot of light out the backside spilling through. Normally, what I use with one of these is, I'll actually have it angled around a little bit and brought around. Let me don't drop it. So like this, and that way you can have this, like diffusing the light coming through. So whatever, like I said, this is what I use on my video lighting setup is to have those exact light, exact the same bracket, and one of these in front just to diffuse it give me nice soft illumination and stuff while making my videos for our tutorials and stuff over there in that part of the studio. So like I said, that's how to use the white one. Let's grab the umbrella softbox. Okay, now I have the umbrella softbox. Let me open this back up. And just like the speed light brackets, it goes over the top. And you do want to point the light, at least the top of the light, into the softbox so that the light's pointing that direction. Let me grab my light. Okay, you got a light here. Screw it in. And put your diffuser on. Now, word of caution, since you will have a diffuser on here, you will not be having a lot of air breathing through. Most of your LED bulbs, like the ones I recommend and been pointing out, uh, like I'm using, these absolutely do not get hot whatsoever. You can literally hold them for eight hours a day while they're on and they'll never get warm enough to make you want to put them down. Not even remotely close. However, CFL bulbs, uh, fluorescent bulbs, for example, will tend to get a lot warmer. And of course your older uh, light bulbs and stuff, especially the higher water ones, uh, like 100 watt bulbs and stuff, you know, you do not want to put in here because it will overheat, might not cause it to catch on fire, but it might cause it to sag and could ruin it. So I recommend just using LED bulbs when you're going to have them inside and sealed up. And if you really want to, just to be on the safe side, you can leave the little vent open at the bottom to let some air in and escape. Okay, so let's now let's grab the dual lighting bracket. Okay, everybody, last but not least, we have our dual lighting bracket. Now you will notice the lighting fixtures on those both sides have holes in these. You will not be using the ones with the holes in them. Matter of fact, a lot of times these screws are just left completely out and the holes are not even tapped. There is a bracket here in the center. And this is the one that you will actually be putting your softbox into. And of course, just like the other bracket, we want to mount it onto our stand here. And let's grab our umbrella softbox. Okay. So I have the umbrella softbox on here. I want to slide it over. All right. Like I mentioned, you have the hole here. And there yeah, we go. And that's essentially it to put your lights in. Just put both your lights in and that'll hold it just quite well. There is a tension uh, knob here to make sure it doesn't slide around with you. Tighten it down, put your light bulbs in, good to go. Okay, everyone, it's about it for the tutorial, but I wanted to mention uh, one more thing before we went. A lot of times you'll see these light bulbs and stuff like this, and you see the ones like this. These are normally the flat ones. These are normally considered like corn bulbs. Uh, I like these. Uh, these actually fit in a lot of these because of the space restrictions and stuff. And you might be tempted to grab one of these because they an extra diffuser. However, there's a catch 20 to this. Okay. So depending on the width, uh, the diameter here going around, you may not be able to use it. Like I said, even with the dual bracket here, which has more room to put light bulbs on each side, this won't fit. So I had originally got these for a different type of light. <laughs> and these work quite well, good lights. I'm gonna use the one right up here in my office to uh, light everything up, works well. However, they will not fit 
on these brackets, speed light brackets and stuff. So do keep that in mind when you go out shopping for light bulbs and stuff. Okay, everybody. Well, that's it for this video tutorial. Uh, like I said, updated video. A lot of people have been asking a lot of these questions and stuff. Yo, what about this bracket, that bracket? How to use it with this? I wish you would show me this way to do this. So yeah, hopefully I covered everything in this video. Hopefully this video isn't too long. Uh, I try, like I said, I try to cover everything. And anyway, I hope it answers a lot of the questions and stuff you might've had. So anyway, if you like this video, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up's always highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribe is free, it's for you. Unless you don't want to release more videos. Until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.